In this video, we'll be identifying types of equations. There are three types of equations. First, an identity is an equation that's true for all values of the variable, and the solution set is all real numbers. Next, a conditional equation is true for a specific value or values of the variable. The solution set is that specific value. Conditional equations is what we're used to solving. And then lastly, a contradiction is an equation that is not true for any value of the variable. The solution set is the empty set, which you can show with this null set symbol, or you can just write no solution. Now let's do some problems. We're asked to determine whether each equation is an identity a conditional equation or a contradiction, and then give the solution set. Our first one is 6x minus 9 equals 4x plus 13. So we'll begin just by uh, solving this equation like we normally do. Let's subtract 4x from both sides. These will cancel, and I have 2x minus 9 equals 13. Then add 9 to both sides. These will cancel. And I have 2x is equal to 22. Divide both sides by 2. And these will cancel. x is equal to 11. Since this has a specific value that makes this equation true. This equation is a conditional and its solution set is x equals 11. Let's do another one. On this one, we see parentheses, so we'll need to get rid of those first by distributing. Let me copy this left side, 10 plus 14x equals, and then 7 times 2x is 14x, and 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. And let's subtract 14x from both sides. These will cancel, and these will cancel. So I end up with 10 on the left side and negative 35 on the right side. Now, as you can see, this is not a true equation. This is not true. 10 is never equal to negative 35. So this is not true. And this equation is a contradiction. And the solution set, then we would write the empty set, or we would write no solution. Our next problem, again, we have parentheses, so let's use the distributive property to distribute this negative 3. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3. And then just copy the rest of the equation. Now we can combine my terms. Negative 6x and positive 5x is negative x. And just copy. And then if we add x to both sides, we can see that these cancel off and these cancel off. And I end up with 3 on the left side and 3 on the right side. 
Now, 3 is always equal to 3. So this equation is an example of an identity. And since this is always true, my solution set is all real numbers.